Welcome everybody. This is a air bike update on the wing that I'm building and it's going really good. So let's jump into this. So essentially the right wing is 95% complete. All I've got to do is finish the leading edge and cut out the aileron and clean up a few things. But construction wise, it's about 95% done. So what's happened lately is the drag braces are installed, which creates a really strong and rigid um, structure right now. The drag braces are basically when the airplane's going through the air, the drag can bend the wings back and they prevent that. We're going to dive into a little bit about some of the way the ailerons made on here. There's the aileron leading edge and then there's some hard points that the hinges have to attach to. So I had to cut out some parts. The way I do that though is I start by drawing the entire rib in AutoCAD. That way I can create templates. Uh, I've done this for a long time. If you have AutoCAD or proficient at all, I would say do that. If not, take your airbike plans, take them to Kinko's, get a copy made, and you can cut up one of the plans. Here's the templates that I printed out for the hard points and the leading edge of the aileron. And they are just slick as snot, aren't they? So basically what I do is I take my bandsaw and I hand cut everything. I've had many people reach out to me and say, you've got to be doing a laser cutter. And look, you, you can get really, really good cuts without a laser cut. I mean, without having to own a laser cutter. I have sped this up just a little bit. So please take your time. Understand that blade there can cut your finger off. If it gets you in the wrist, it might get an artery and you might bleed out before they can save you. So be really careful when you're doing this. I mean, it's really, really important that you just take your time. You can hit it with a sander lightly to clean up any edges you need to. But uh, this is how I cut all my parts out is by hand. Now I have stacks of pieces there that will make up uh, different thicknesses I need. I'll just uh, laminate them with epoxy together. But um, this is how I get many parts cut with one cut, if that makes sense. But just take your time, everybody. There's nothing really that hard on this wing. You just have to be very meticulous and take your time and rethink everything many times before you make a cut or you glue something. Um, it's not a hard wing. It's just meticulous. So here is a picture of the clamps holding in those hard points that the hinges will connect to. And uh, it's a pretty neat design on the wing, but there's some wonky things on it that I really didn't like, but they work perfect. So you just got to, you know, get through it. I want to show you this because right there in the middle is the leading edge of the aileron. Okay, so you're going to have multiple of those. Those are going to be glued on what will make up every rib of the aileron. And you uh, basically epoxy it to the uh, quarter by quarter uh, aircraft spruce that, or the spruce, I'm sorry, that makes up the aileron. And uh, then here is my trailing edge, which I did a little bit differently than they show. They show basically just uh, butting it up and epoxying it and then using the gussets. I cut a little bit deeper trailing edge and notched it because I've done this on all of my half scale and bigger airplanes and it's just so much more stronger, but it takes a lot of time. Okay. And it is a complete pain in the rear end to get it aligned right and to get everything square. You've got to just really take your time to make sure that in all three dimensions, this trailing edge is lined up. It was really, really, um, it was a pain. Another kind of a pain is the aileron center point. If you see that, it shows it on the shear web and the vertical uh, quarter by quarter spruce there and your drill bit wants to wander. It's really hard to drill that. So what, I, what did I do? I 3D printed a template that would hold my drill bit so I, I could get the exact hole I wanted because this is the hinge point of the aileron. It's gotta be perfect. And uh, so I 3D printed that. This is the top and bottom, uh, kind of like a cap spar of the shear web that makes up the aileron, what I call the spar, which is at the leading edge. Um, again, you've got to really take your time. And, and look, everybody, people keep saying, why aren't you building your wing flat on the table? You don't need to, because here I flip my wing on its back. The rigidity of the wing comes from covering it and the stretch to hold it to the fuselage. This wing's really flimsy until all that comes together. I was also asked how I was epoxying my ribs to the spars and I 3D printed these little things that are really clamps with 440 cap screws in them and they work outstanding. And uh, the plans say to use little bitty nails, but it's hard to get the nails in there with the way the structure is built and it's a pain. Essentially, that's this update, everybody. I appreciate you watching my videos. Like and subscribe if you've got the time. 
and I'll try to do more. I'm off uh, work for the next week and on vacation, and I'm going to try to do all kinds of updates at least every other day. Rock on.